Forests are one of our planet's greatest wonders. Not only do they provide us with food, clean air and water, and improve our health, they're also our best line of defense against the climate crisis. While they seem ubiquitous, forests are easy to take for granted. Deforestation is still responsible for massive losses of tree cover across the globe, caused by industry, agriculture, worsening wildfires, and other factors. Luckily, under the right conditions, forests have a natural ability to regenerate, and we can help through a process called reforestation. Reforestation allows us to restore forests by planting new trees in damaged areas. Such projects are started for a number of reasons, such as restoring habitats destroyed by wildfires, replanting former mining and agricultural lands, and replenishing areas logged for timber. Each project has to consider the environmental, social, and economic needs of an area. Depending on the location, local communities and ecosystems can benefit in many ways. Forests rejuvenate degraded soil, generate sources of food, jobs, and income, and provide many hydrological and air quality benefits. And the best part? There's always room for more. Our planet can sustain almost a billion hectares of new forest, with most land available in Russia, Canada, Brazil, Australia, the US, and China. Before a single tree is in the ground, appropriate planning and research is conducted. First, the planting location is chosen based on the project's goals and the needs of local communities. Every location has its own pros and cons, and the planting cost and season can also vary. Next, planters choose the tree species for the site. In most cases, a variety of native species are selected to mimic natural regeneration and avoid adverse effects. The planting method must also adhere to local standards, such as how the seedlings should be distributed. The organization in charge then orders the trees from local nurseries, which specialize in growing and hardening off the necessary seedlings. Then, local volunteer and professional tree planters grab their shovels and get to work. Planting is physically hard work, and the sites can be hard to reach, so the planters are often faced with challenging travel conditions and long hours. Finally, the young trees are monitored and maintained to ensure their survivability. This can create further opportunities for locals who are often tasked with this work. Most of these projects are conducted by governments and large enterprises that work with local partners to get the trees in the ground. Charities and NGOs are also active participants, often helping procure and distribute funding for the efforts. Some countries, such as Finland, even have laws requiring deforested lands to be reforested by the industry responsible. This type of policy not only restores harvested habitats, but also creates seasonal jobs stimulating the local economy. But without proper planning and preparation, large-scale initiatives can end in disaster. In 2019, poorly timed planting and inadequate maintenance resulted in the death of 90% of the 11 million saplings planted for Turkey's reforestation initiative. On the international level, the 2020 World Economic Forum in Davos announced the creation of the One Trillion Tree Campaign, a platform for governments, businesses and civil society to contribute to planting a trillion trees worldwide. Such initiatives help spur action towards reforestation on a broader scale and help the organizations involved secure the financing to implement their habitat restoration projects. Thanks to the efforts of donors around the world, these planting projects are growing in number and scale. While trees take a long time to mature, reforestation is the best strategy we have available to capture carbon, protect fertile land, and maintain healthy biodiversity on our planet. And in the coming years, new methods and technologies can reduce costs and increase planting speed. To learn more about reforestation, visit our website at onetreeplanted.org and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.